All right, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to yet another video in the R uh, Unreal RPG tutorial series. So today we are gonna be doing the bow and arrow, the moment you've all been waiting for. No, but I've I got a lot of uh, a lot of comments asking about that, so let's just jump into that part. Uh, I think we've we've gone quite far. Uh, we have a basic weapon system, AI system, and uh, things like that. Uh, there are still a few small stuff uh, I want to add, but we are probably gonna go in towards ending this series soon. Uh, but if you find like small bugs and stuff like that, please let me know in the comments so that I can fix them up. Um, also, please like and subscribe if you are new to the video. It helps the YouTube algorithm. Apparently, I have no idea how that works, but everybody else says it, so I'm gonna do it as well. Um, so yeah, let's jump straight into it. Um, one thing I want to change first, and uh, you can see that if we go behind like enemies, you can see the camera gets stuck. So let's just quickly fix that. Uh, so if you go into your master AI. You have coalition, uh, and you can see it's blocking the camera. So I'm just gonna set this to custom. Now I'm gonna ignore camera. And the same for the mesh. The mesh is already camera, and that should already work. No, it doesn't. Uh, weapon, camera. Not sure what is there is. Might have been the weapon. It's not. What is it then? Okay, weird. Hmm. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, it's the yeah the capsule component. I thought I changed that one. So let's see, that should work. Yeah, there we go. So now the camera is like snapping everywhere. Uh, so that's good. Uh, one more thing I wanna do is, uh, somebody asked me about, I got, got like two or three comments about it and maybe I forgot in, in a previous video, but, I think it was. Uh, let me just check the comment. One second. All right. Yeah. So, um, a few videos ago, or like one or two videos ago, I fucked up and had to re-record. So I'm not sure if I missed something when I did this. I, I, I think I might have done it when I did the blend space as well. But uh, there was a question about how how do you, I get it to look like this? Like they don't have the blend space variable. Uh, and basically, that's because. Uh, or two reasons actually. If you don't, if you only have the speed, you don't have the rotation of the blade, the blend space uh, things. That's because you're doing a blend space. If you go into animation, blend space one D, and that's the wrong kind of blend space that you have in that case, because that's gonna be only one node, because the blend space one D only goes in one direction. Whereas the normal blend space that we're using is a blend space, a normal blend space, and this goes in, as you can see, both vertical and horizontal. So that's why, and the reason we have the rotation here is because we named this one rotation, this one speed. So it's rotation and speed. That's why. The blend space variable here, on the other hand, uh, by default it doesn't show. By default, it looks something like this. You won't have these stuff here. I think it will look like this, but with the two pins. So the reason I have this variable is because we want to be able to change the blend space at runtime for different weapons, etc., etc. So just on the blend space in the settings of the blend space here, you, instead of having a bound, just 
I click and expose it as a pin, that gets you the blend space. Then you can right click, promote to a variable, call it blend space, and now we can change this variable at runtime to change our blend space. So that's basically the setup. Uh, I think I have one or two comments, so maybe I missed it somewhere. Because when we equip the weapon, we set the blend space. As you can see here, we have a reference to our animation blueprint. So when we switch weapons, we switch blend spaces because we set this is the animation blue blueprint, which is this one, this one, and the, the blend space variable here is this blend space variable. So that's how it works. One more thing um, before we enter. No. Uh, and one more thing before we go into what else was it? Um, yeah, for the Pum, pum, pum. Here, in your player character, let's just add also, because I forgot when I did the dot rolling stuff. Uh, we can still do, this is weird, because when he hits us and we roll, we still take damage. So let's just fix that as well. I forgot, completely forgot that when, when I did that part. Uh, but dodge, uh, let's see. Mm -mm. Should we make? Um, we have the animation states right, uh, so let's do. Let's do another state. Uh, player iframes state. So let's do a state called player iframe states. I frames or invul invulnerability frames. Uh, so this is going to be fairly easy. Just in your player character, add a variable called can take damage on when we begin this state, we set can take damage. To false. So basically, I just copied the old uh, animation states that we're already using. And on the notify end, we set can take damage to true. And in your player, don't forget to set can take damage to true by default as well. So when we now are rolling, uh, not sure which animations it is. Animations, game, player, uh, roll, one of these. I guess it's this one. Add notify states, and we have the player iframes. So just do it for, yeah, however long you want to do it. Uh, I think mine should go from, yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna do it like something like that. I'm not sure which one I'm using, so I'm just gonna add it to both. Uh, mm -hmm. Frames. Perfect. And in back into our player again. On uh, do, 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 do. on our player take damage function, we are only gonna take damage if can take damage. Is true. So that should work. Yeah, 
can see we are now done trolling. If we don't roll, we take damage. If we roll, yeah. Obviously, these are insane iframes. Pretty much in, uh, impossible to kill now. But yeah, you just have to experiment with how much you want. So that's it. Um, yeah. A few fixes that took around 10 minutes. So I'm actually not going to do the bow and arrow in this tutorial. I'm just going to release this as one tiny episode. Uh, just with some fixes. Uh, as I said, let me know in the comments if you, you, you have more bugs and stuff you want me to clean up. Uh, and I'll do that. And uh, in the next video, we will do the bow and arrow. Start with that from scratch. As I said in the beginning, please like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And uh, yeah, let me know if there's anything you are wondering. Bye.